Right. Zach, how are we looking? All right. We good? All right. Fourth day, Nelsonville. How's everybody doing? Yeah. A little wet, but the spirits are not dampened at all. So um, welcome to the Gladden House Sessions. I'm Josh Antonuccio. Uh, this stage is a collaboration between WOUB.org, the Nelson Music, Music Festival, and uh, the Ohio University School of Media Arts and Studies. Uh, we have a great schedule today. Lineup is posted online. We've got uh, a an great announcement. Nikki Lane will be back here at 3.15, so please join us then. Marker board out front has the schedule posted as well. Um, to start off the day, we've got Steve Poltz. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. So, Steve, you got a lot of sets today or last night, right? Yeah, I got here on Friday and I played at the boxcar stage. And the other, last night I did a show in the No Fi Cabin. And then I woke up this morning and I said, That's cool. I don't have to play till the main stage today at one. And then I pulled out my phone where my tour manager puts all the info I have to do. I was just laying in bed. I was going to make up a song. And I was not, I just said, I'm going to go back to sleep for a little while. And I said, I'm just going to make sure I'm on at 1 o'clock. And then I went, what? I have a porch session? And we got out of that hotel room like we were firemen going to a fire. And uh, made it here. And it was cool. So I'm happy to be here. Cause, and I'm glad I checked on my phone where they put the schedule. Because yeah. I would not have known. <laughs> yeah, I think we are too. So... Uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah, talk a little bit about the new album, Folk Singer. Okay, so I have this new record out. It's called Folk Singer. And um, I live in uh, San Diego, California, and was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And it seems like I kept making records in either Halifax, Nova Scotia, or Austin, Texas, or Perth, Australia. For some reason, I was like, they were all in these very different, far-off areas. So I have a friend in San Diego who's a great musician named Jeff Berkeley, and he's in a duo called Berkeley Heart. They're they're fantastic if you ever get to see him. And he's made like probably 500 records in San Diego in this little studio. And he kept saying to me, I want to make a record with you. And I'm really hard to pin down to make a record because I'm the word would be the word of the day we'll make is peripatetic. So how's that sound? So I'm constantly on the move. I'm a peripatetic troubadour. And uh so he's the way I made a record in Perth was a guy said, you got to just come into my studio right now and record one song. So that's how the record in Perth got made. And then my other friend said, you got to make a record in Austin. So I made the record in Austin. And then another friend said, Halifax. So my friend Jeff Berkeley said, this is how they get me. It's like they're drug dealers. They go, come on, the first one's free. So they said, come into my studio and record a song. So I did. I recorded one song. And then he played it back to me. He added some banjo and stuff, and I said, wow, this sounds great. And he said, do you have any more songs? And I said, yeah. Next thing I know, I made a record. So <laughs> I, I never have a rhyme or a reason for how I do things. So the record is called Folk Singer, because I had written this track called Folk Singer, and I said, that's going to be the title track of my record that doesn't exist yet. So I think the only point I'm trying to make is you have to will yourself into making things happen. And so this is what my dad always did to me every morning when I was a little kid. I would wake up and before I went to school because I had asthma and eczema and I stuttered. And so he would try to give me confidence and he would put his hands on my forehead like this, on my temples, and he'd go, you can do anything. And then he'd push me off to school. And so uh, that was how I started playing music because I thought the guitar was my best friend because I, when I was a little kid, I didn't have a lot of friends and I just played guitar. So I started playing when I was six and so... I always believed in just willing an album to happen and going, this record is going to be called Folk Singer. I don't know what's on it, but I know the title. And I even know what the cover looks like. It's going to be a bear with antlers, like a deer antlers on a bear, like a weird hybrid from the island of Dr. Moreau. And the bear is going to be wearing a red hat and holding a ukulele like it's a gun. And over the ukulele, it's going to say Folk Singer. So I knew the album cover, but I didn't know anything else. So. That's fantastic. So uh, outside of production and studios, any other notable personality brought in? Who, who's with you on this album? Uh, Elvis Presley. Yeah. It's a good start. Yeah. yeah. 
So we got that going for me. No, all local San Diego notables, uh, really cool people, friends of mine that I've grown up. I, I moved to San Diego in 1979, and uh, friends that I've just grown up with and played music with. So it was kind of a hodgepodge thing. I'm, I'm more of the kind of guy who doesn't, like I said, I don't plan out. I just go, who's home right now, and who can we reach? Get over here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a song we need you on. And so whoever picks up the phone and makes it there, it, that's how the album happens. I wish I planned things out better. Like, I just bought a house in East Nashville with Sharon, and I've never seen the house. <laughs> but it's my dream house. She saw it. So we're moving there in a week. Nice. <laughs> well, uh... But it looks like it's my dream house. <laughs> Well, let's get some music. Everybody welcome Steve, please. All right. So I had this job, and uh, I made pizzas at a place called Round Table Pizza. And it kind of changed my life because when I was making the pizzas, they they had a microphone, and on the microphone you could say, Scott, party of four, you got a large pineapple Hawaiian, Hawaiian pineapple pizza for your party ready. And I, they'd let me work on the microphone that way. And I was like, this is cool. Because prior to that, I had only played guitar alone in my room, but never had a microphone. So the guy that managed the store uh, would let me drink beers, even though I was underage. So I would drink beers. And uh, there's a reason why I don't drink anymore, by the way. <laughs> so I would drink beers and then eventually get drunk and tell people their orders were ready. And I would sing their orders to the people. And so one day, unbeknownst to me, the owner of Round Table Pizza was there eating with all his cousins who had flown in from Iowa. And I had everybody in the room moving their arms up and down going, I need my damn pizza and I need it now. And everybody was screaming and jumping around. And I decided it would be really cool to kick a stool over, like (laughs) punk rock style. And so next thing I know, I went home. And when I woke up in the morning, the phone rang. And it was the owner of Round Table Pizza. And he said, is this Steve Poltz? And I said, yeah. And he said, this is Mr. McDonald. And I said, oh, how's it going? And he said, come in and pick up your paycheck. And I said, we're getting paid early? <laughs> and he said, no, we need pizza makers, not entertainers. And I said, I'm an entertainer? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> so I hitchhiked up to Northern California, and that was where everything began. Mother Russia, Mother Russia, where have you been? I've been walking kind of tender on needles and pins. And my life is full of trouble, but I still get by. I steal enough to feed me, but I never tell a lie. I won't stop until I'm done. And my cup is full. I need non-stop action, man. I hate it when it's dull. Hallelujah to your Jesus. And I'll raise you a saint. You're showing three Buddhas and I'm feeling kind of faint. I got a job making pizzas, but I soon got fired for singing on the microphone and acting really wired. My boss said, son, you know we need dedicated pizza makers, but the only thing that you are is a drunk entertainer. So I hitched a ride to Reno in a tortilla truck, only made it up to Reno full. I ran out of luck. Got a job singing songs in a Russian pizza parlor. My parents always hoped that I would make it kind of farther. Hallelujah to you, Jesus. And I'll raise you a saint. You're showing three Buddhas, and I'm feeling kind of faint. I make pizzas on the side when I ain't singing songs. I make amends on my days off. I try to right my wrongs, but there ain't a lot of time left on my ticket meter. You could call me Saint Steve, or you could just call me Peter. If you put your faith in me, I'll never do you wrong, but I can't be trusted because I'll put you in a song. Mother Russia, Mother Russia, the skies are blue. I got a hunger in my heart and a naked love for you. If the lines on a face are a road map to the soul, then mine have been spun like a stripper on a pole. Mother Russia, Mother Russia, the skies 
skies are blue I got a hunger in my heart And a naked love for you Hallelujah to your Jesus And I'll raise you a saint You're showing three Buddhas And I'm feeling kind of faint I'm feeling kind of faint I get to do another one. <laughs> this is called Dream House. This is for my new dream house I just bought <laughs> that I haven't even stepped inside of. I think it's kind of good to do things that way. My advice to everybody here, my advice to you people, what do you mean, you people? My <laughs> advice to you people is don't plan too much. Go off of your instincts and just say yes. All right? So here's a song I wrote called Dream House, and I wrote it in Yosemite. It goes like this. chance for love again from ocean to desert sand we we'll travel across the world because it's been named in a hand wherever we lay down our bed roses our home we don't need much we've got it made we we'll travel the world somehow from mountain tops to cityscapes, we're in our dream house now. I've been a lonely gypsy, and you're looking mother hipsy. Follow you till I'm tipsy, from San Diego to Poughkeepsie. Let's get this party started Our ship has now departed From San Diego to the planets That they have not charted chance for love again motion to desert sand we'll travel across the world because we're in our dream house now we're in our dream house now we're in our dream I get to do one more song. All right, I play at one on the main stage over there. Now, this has never been done before, except I was warming up backstage, and it's Josh's birthday. Yeah. So he's got three kids that are really cool. I think they're 16, 14, and 12. And I told them, I willed this to happen. I looked at them, I said, you guys are gonna start your own band. Because his one son already plays guitar. I told his other son, who's 12, 
you're a drummer. And I drilled it into his head. And his daughter's the bass player and singer. And they're going to be so good. And I'm going to lay down the gauntlet right now and say, in 2020, they're going to do a porch session and play somewhere here at this festival. I guarantee it. So they can't prove me wrong. But prior to that, I was talking to Josh, the man who sired the kids. And he said it was his birthday. And I asked him how old he was, and he said 21. So we started singing songs backstage, and we realized we both knew this song. Lyrics by Robert Hunter. Music by Jerry Garcia. And I said, what? You know this song? On the ukulele? And he said, yeah. I said, we're going to do it. And he said, but it's your session. And I said, I don't care. I want you to sing it with me. It's your birthday. And then he said, how much are you going to pay me? And I said, $2,000. And he said... I need the check before I go on stage, and you need to cash it and put it in a briefcase, Chuck Berry style, and hand me it in cash. So I had to send Sharon to go do that. Good news is we got the money just on time. So please give it up for Josh, who's going to do this song with me. All right. He's checking it. They're doing the final count on the money. It's all there. 1,999, 2,000. Okay, cool. So please welcome my new friend Josh to the stage. And this is my final song of this, but I still get to play a whole nother song at the Nelsonville Music Festival at one o'clock on the main stage. So uh, since it's Sunday, I would just like to say, peace be with you. And you're supposed to say, and also with you. <laughs> one condition, if you know this song, you gotta sing along. Yeah. Dark of night, and if you go. 
No one may follow That path is made For your steps alone coming out. We've got a great session coming up, so schedule will be out later. Thanks.